Hey Plotter Pals, I'm Stacy Anderson, sci-fi author and one of the trainers here at Plotter. Today we have another new update to Plotter and some great features to the outline, tags, and exporting functions that I'm going to show you. We hope you enjoy it, so let's dive in. Our first new feature is in the outline section where now we can add and delete different attributes such as characters, places, and tags. In chapter one, we can add a new place such as the stick house. We can also remove one of the characters such as pig two or add and delete tags. We can also filter by multiple plot lines. For example, if you want to look at the plot lines for both pig number two and pig number three. We can now see every chapter that includes either pig two or pig three and colored icons for their associated scene cards. And as always, we can remove a filter either by clicking on the outlined is filtered message or deselecting them in the menu. This update has also made it easier to rearrange scene cards in the outline view. So from chapter two, we can select pig number one and simply drag and drop it into chapter six instead. And when we click on chapter six, we see the scene card for pig one in its new location. And we can always drag it back again on the left hand side. Another exciting feature with this new update includes the ability to choose which plot lines you'd like to export. In either the timeline or the outline toolbar, you can choose the option to export and then advanced. Here in the outline section, you can choose which plot lines you'd like to include in the export. For example, if you would only like to see the main plot line, or if you'd only like to see the plot line for each of the three pigs. And this works for both Word or Scrivener. So now you can choose to exclude plot lines for a template or any notes that you've made that you may not want in your final outline. And here, if you filter by plot lines, such as the main plot and the plot line for the wolf, and now export, by default, it will only select those plot lines to export. And this is true if you export either through the advanced feature or if you simply click on Word or Scrivener it will only export the filtered plot lines. And this is what the export will look like in Word. As you can see, it only includes scene cards from the main plot line and the wolf's plot line. Moving to the tags section, in the tags toolbar, you'll see a new option for categories. When you click on this button, you can add categories to help organize and group your different tags. So here I'll add a category for the stage and another for theme. Now under each tag, I can edit it to give it a category. And now I've organized all my tags into different categories and I can add new tags as needed, such as a new tag for a theme of trust. This update also includes some smaller features and stability fixes which you can read about in the release notes. So how do you plan to use these new features in Plotter? Be sure to leave a comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our latest tutorials, updates, and information. Happy plotting!